Yummy little treat. Fish for dinner. I want one of those ones, not those ones. What, that one there would do? Alright, um, not quite sure how to explain myself today. Uh, it's day two. Um, I was supposed to be trying to catch a fish on my beautiful stick rod yesterday. Um, but not long after I set the burley at my spot, uh, some really, really big kingfish turned up in the trail. I managed to capture some of the drama, but not all of it. I uh, managed to hook up a few times to some really, really big fish, but were, I was com completely unprepared, so I was under gun. Um, and today I'm, I'm probably supposed to be finishing the same stick rod episode, or trying to finish the same stick rod episode. But uh, I can't resist the chance to go back and have another shot at those gigantic kingfish. So, man, here we go. Finally secured myself a live bait. I made this live bait rig especially for this spot. It's made out of a couple of pieces of thick rope and a couple of pieces of bungee cord and a very, very heavy nylon trace. Always remember to keep giving the burly bag an occasional shake and uh, at this stage I decide to focus on a little bit of snapper fishing while I wait for the kingies to turn up. Big Kingy's just turned up in the trail. I'll just check my livey, still going. Yeah, cool. Yeah. My livey's still looking pretty good. Now I'll deal with this car while I've just got. Good size car way. All of a sudden these smaller kingfish turn up, but if you look very closely you might be able to spot some of the much larger models just below. Whoa, check out this beast. I don't know how many blinking live baits this shag stole this day. I don't know what it is, but something big smacked the bait. I think a trevally, it feels like a trevally, which would be really cool because it's been a pretty muddy day and I could use something yum for dinner. Yes, it's a trev. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that's so good. Yes. Far out. It's been hard work. Yummy little tree. Beautiful. That's it, mission complete. All right, here we are again. I couldn't stay away for long, so almost as soon as I got home, I started planning the next trip. We decided to head out on the big boat for a few days, um, stay a few nights, catch and cook whatever we could, and um, try and catch some of those really big fish again.
today we decided that we'd come out on the big boat for three days and two nights and we're just going to chase big fish for a few days and have a bit of fun. Um, if the wind picks up we might have a sail but it's not looking very likely at the moment. We're just going to fish and eat what we catch and kick back. We'll soak a few baits and see if we can't catch a fish for dinner. Perfect. Fish for dinner. Fish for dinner. Yes. And we forgot the sausage today, so the fish is really the dinner tonight. A fish! Oh, yes! The light. Oh, yes! Beautiful little panny, that's our dinner for tonight. Awesome. <laughs> okay, there's heaps of fish down here, we've just parked up at our sleeping spot. It's going to be a pretty sunset tonight. Man, there's so many fish biting, eh? Yeah. Hey, woo! Okay. There's a fish here, babe. Come on. <laughs> hey, JJ, you're up now. Is he still yeah. on there? He's dropped it. Yeah. Hoosh. Look at that, though. Not too bad at all. Good time to be catching fish, too. Change of light. Nice panty. Another beautiful panny. Got a couple more days out here. We don't want to load up on fish too early. We want to try and catch a few big ones and let these fellas go. Beautiful panny though. Good fish. Back you go, mate. Yep. Leave it or not, fish for dinner. Sleeping. It's time to go fishing. Feeding up a few local kingfish there. They're mostly rats, but there's it's one or two bigger ones, that one at the back there, that one there looks legal to me. Go 75. There's a few little fellas at the top, they always the keenest ones. That fella at the back there, he looks alright to me. Trying to hook one of the bigger kingfish out of the burly trail. And inevitably the rat got it first. Even though he's only a little fella, he put up a really good fight. Beautiful little fella. Back you go. I want one of those ones, not those ones, but that one there would do. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not you. This one. Oh, that one. Not you. That one. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, that's not the right one, but... <laughs> He's quite, he's quite big, he's not the big, big one though.
another kingy that's not the one that I wanted. He's not a bad size though, that one he'd probably go 65, but he's not legal. Nice fish, kingy number two, not big enough yet. See you later mate. Kingy, he's not huge, but he's one of the better ones in the trail. Um, it's going to be a long fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, busted! Ratchet! Uh. I caught the two small kingies pretty easily, and then I finally hooked a good one, and he's just busted my line. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll have a look. Oh, he's broke my hook. That hook's been through war. My tiny little size 2 hook had caught four kingfish so far, so a little bit too much for it. There's a real big one, look, look, a real, real big one, a huge one. Like a Muddy feet. massive, massive one. There's a monster one down there, dude. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the one I've been trying to catch. I just about got him, but there's one down there that's like almost three times as long as him, but like this round. There he is, look, look at that. Oh, yes, yes, look at the size yes. Muddy feet. Thing. Look, yes. my just there. Yes. Hopefully he'll eat that. Farm. Bro, there's a muddy feet. 20 kilo, 20, 25 kilo beast under the boat at the moment. Here's uh, kingfish number three. So that's the third one we've managed to get to the boat this morning. Um, he's probably just legal, but I'm going to let him go. Um, I want to catch one of those monsters that's down the bottom. There's some like 20, 25 kilo specimens hanging around underneath the boat. Um, but unfortunately, these little guys keep beating them to the bait. So we'll get rid of this one and then we'll see if we can catch one of the big fellas. Another beautiful fish. Hopefully, we can catch one of those bigger ones. See you later, fella. Oh, bugger. I managed to hook one of the big kingfish, but. Uh, he absolutely dicked me. Got absolutely smoked. Never mind. Try again. Ah, oh, no. Another one bites the dust. Lost another bloody king. I'm running out of those little hooks. <laughs> this story is not over yet. We will definitely be back to finish the job in part two. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button. We're also on Facebook if you want to check us out there. 